Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I'm going to talk about three tickers. And one of them is going to be um, Tesla, the other one's going to be Roku, and the other one's going to be Boeing. So let's get right off to the races. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. We also have links over here that you can follow us and join Twitter, Stock Twits, Pinterest, our YouTube channel, and also if you want to write to us, you can email us right there. So let's get off to the races here. First thing we're going to do is talk about Tesla. Well, Tesla's had another breakout today off an Elon Musk email. He's thinking, and we'll go ahead and just pull it up right here. Tesla shares climbed back to above 1,000 on Musk's break-even email. So he thinks the company's going to be able to break even. And I think, if I remember, I have like seven, eight billion in cash. The company reported a record of 97,000 deliveries for the three months, the end of September, and a shortfall of a $100,000 mark that he floated in the email and the staff earlier. So that was off just a little bit, but he was pretty close to it. You know, it's pretty strong, pretty strong point. So let's go ahead and bring up the chart itself, and that's going to be Tesla. I've got support drawn on here already. We're going to go ahead and take these off of here for right now so we can have a better look at it. But I have a low support down here, and I'm going to stick with that 950.40 for a strong buy. If you had stuck with that in my video calls before, you would had a great entry on that stock today. It did bounce to that 550 level, and we did have an uptrend most of the day with higher lows, testing, and then we had the breakout off the e email of Elon Musk. It was starting to break down below that 200, but end up climbing back up. We're setting up for an ascending triangle. So I have two major support levels on Tesla right now. The low support, of course, is going to be strong buy down here at 950 if that ever comes around. I would consider getting in the trade, and I've said that many times over and over again. I have a third support channel right in here. I could probably fine-tune that a little bit to bring it right to that 961. Let me go ahead and we'll make it even right there, around, around 962.09 channel between here and here, between 962 and 968. But our first support level is going to be right down here below 1,000 at 998 to 996.62. If it pulls back into that channel or it pulls back into this other channel of 976.18 to 983.56. Now Tesla is just running on speculation. It's just speculation. But it was a good enough reason for the stock to pop today. And it did hit that solid support that it bounced off of. So these are going to be the supports again below a thousand and we could and if we do break this we can get back up here to this horizontal line of the ascending triangle that we had 20 days ago and let me show you that it was last week we had this little ascending triangle right here so that resistance level at 11890 is going to be a hard one to break if it can bounce up to that 118 it could pull back to a thousand or into these lo other lower support channels so that 118.90 is going to be a hard resistance to break. If it does, we can get it up to the 20-day high of maybe 1032. But for right now, our target's going to be 118.90 in the support levels. We'll bring them up to your attention again. That would be the 960, 990.62 to 998. It's going to be your first support channel. And then that second support channel, 976.18 to 983.56. And then you have the low strong buy down here right around the 950-40 area. And anything in between here, if you're seeing it and it starts to reverse, you could be bringing it back up to these other two channels. But actually, I just want to see it hold this first two channels right here and kind of start building a new base above this 950. Because I did have 900 as my low support for a strong buy. And I was calling this 950 a pivot point area. I'm kind of wanting to raise that up. My interest is to raise this up and start to begin calling this 950.40 a support and a strong buy compared to before when the 900 was the strong buy. So that's going to be Tesla. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Roku. It's a trade that I got in today and I made a 
careless mistake and was trying to buy into another one and sold this one. So I bought it at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and pull up Roku here and see if it had any news. First we'll pull up the website. I really like Roku. I like it a lot. It's a real nice stock trade if you know where to find the supports. And it does carry resistance higher than most trades that I've been in in a pretty good little channel. So we're going to go ahead and look at the Roku news and see if there's anything in here that excites me. Uh, ad spin to fuel Roku stock in 2021, a five-star analyst says buy. This was this happened seven days ago, and then Jim Cramer comes out. He says the chart shows us that Roku's ready to stream to new highs. You get it? That was a pun. So yeah, there you go, Roku, Jim Cramer. And a bullish analyst weighs Corona Impact, says platform is a winning aggregator to the streaming department. So there's a lot of people that are very bullish on this, a lot of big analysts, and just a lot of retail traders are the ones that are trying to bring you down into the bearish mode of this. Don't bother with them bears. When you see a good support level or a chart pattern that excites you, get in the trade and don't doubt the trade. Today I made a big mistake by selling it too early, but it was an accident. I would have kept it probably and wrote it up. I could have cashed in a little bit more on it, but there's always a new day. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart on Roku. That's probably my biggest mistake in life is selling too soon. But if I sometimes if I don't sell, I, I take a bigger loss. So I have to kind of have an equilibrium in that. But I called this trade and I'm going to see if I can find exactly when I got into it. Well, we'll just. I think it was right down in here when I bought, bought into it first. Right down here at 112.91. And then it ran it up. It ran up a little bit to right here, and then it started to pull back again, and I bought another uh, intake right here, right around the 112.43 level that brought my option price down, and then we had that nice run into close, and I got out of it right about in here at this resistance level at 114.34, and I could have ran it up and hit, tried to aim for this channel that I'd see. This was the channel that I was aiming for, was that daily low we had it open. And look where we closed at. And this is something you keep in mind when you when you have a hard sell off like this, and you have that nice little bounce up, and then you have the double bottom, you know, you, and then it kind of had a double top. It started showing a little weakness, and then the bears started taking advantage of that. So always, you know, when I, sometimes when I'm not positive about a trade, I'll go in small and maybe add some a little bit later, knowing that I'm still bullish on the stock. But you always got to follow the trend, and the trend is your friend. So I think we're going to go up to newer highs and break these new levels at 117.02. And then up here to 118.43 to 118.94 level. And that's going to be Roku. And what a beautiful trade. It sure was. It's way oversold. I mean, we're at 126.82 Friday, and it pulled all the way back down here to 112. I mean, that's... a it's a heck of an opportunity there it takes to know that it got oversold today when everybody's all the big fat cats are very bullish on the trade itself so it's way oversold keep a good eye on it don't listen to the bears they're trying to brainwash you the next one we're going to talk about is going to be boeing miss vegas and i called miss vegas called this beautifully today at the open i also had it on on point read it open this morning before the bell rang I started noticing the action, and we're going to go ahead and pull up the chart. I'm kind of shaking right here. Let's see what we got. Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. Keep those doggies rolling. So here we are. You know what made Boeing run today? 737 Max takes off in crucial FAA test and comeback bid. So they've really got to really sharpen their tools up tighten them bolts, and really impress these FFA regulators to come out and check this. So this is going to be pretty good. We're going to, hopefully I want this to break 200 and then maybe start to pull back a little bit. But if the news is good with Boeing, this could be the catalyst that could bring this market up to new highs. 
because this thing got beat up here in the last couple weeks so we're going to go ahead and pull this chart up Boeing right now definitely when I heard that news Vegas and I were, were definitely bullish on this trade and we noticed it right out of the gate this morning that something was popping and when we broke that resistance level here at 173.90 it was time to go to the races I had a red line resistance at 177.13 target and by gosh if we didn't bounce up and hit that and just I mean we didn't hit it at first but when we did, she took off, came back and found support right there at that level, at that 177.13. And then here she went into open, still above the opening price. So it was still very bullish with a less than a 50% retracement. And then we had the double top, and then it continued on high into the after hour market. I told the room, you know, someone asked me if they would hold it. And I said, well, if it was me, I would take my profit or I'd average down because I did expect a little pullback on it, and it did pull back. It actually pulled back right to this resistance level, right in here where we had this consolidated period, and then she bounced right back up. So yeah, I'm, I'm still bullish on Boeing. I want to see it. I called it today in the room that we were going to get to 192 in the morning. We hit the 192, and then we actually hit 195.10, almost hit that 195.91 resistance, and that would have been a pretty nice little. And I was calling this out for tomorrow, the 195.91 so we hit the 195.10 and I'm just going to see it consolidate a little bit I don't see it going much lower than this area right in here between 184.75 and 185.56 I'm going to go ahead and put this mark in here so I can have it chalked up for in the morning and I'll know that that's going to be my strong area where I want to get into the trade and I'm definitely going to call that first support right down here, right around the 188.37. I want to chalk that up into a red line because I want to make sure that I identify that as a support level. And the second one's going to be right down here at right 187.90 with a very strong buy of this ascending triangle. See, we had ascending triangle. For ones that don't know what an ascending triangle is, Jimmy will point it out to you. goes right there and then you have this bar right here and it just comes right across and it broke out way before the ascending triangle started to meet we had the triple top and a lot of times in these ascending triangles that triple top means everything once it comes back and pulls back once it comes back and pulls back again I got the trend line off this right here and then it met again and then that next time it came up it had the breakout and we were very bullish on this trade just off the news of the test flights and here we are into after hours at 195 and she pulled back to 191 so let's keep a good eye on this we've got the low support down here like I said in this channel right here between 184.75 and 185.56 that second support 187.09 with that first one right there at 188.37 that's it for the aftermarket report review and always remember Hit that like button, ring that bell, follow us on Twitter, Stock Twits, Pinterest, YouTube, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Have a great day. I love stocks.